All right, Workout Worthy, welcome to Five Minutes of Fitness. All month long, we are spending five minutes each and every day focusing on our health and our wellness. Today, we are doing five one-minute intervals, starting with cardio, focusing on strength, and finishing up with core. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and come back. Your workouts do not need to be extreme, but you do need to be consistent. So be consistent here at Workout Worthy with me. Now, our cardio today is gonna to be standing mountain climbers. These can be no impact. One arm, one leg, opposite sides. You choose your range of motion, bigger or smaller, depending on what you're capable of, what your body needs. Now, if you do want a little impact, you can jump. 60 seconds is a long time, and since it's a cardio burst, it's a maximum effort. Here we go. Standing mountain climbers. Chin is level. Shoulders stay low. So if you notice, my shoulders are not moving up and down. I'm not shrugging. Moving through that shoulder joint with intention. It's a comfortable range of motion, not over stretching. Shoulders and hips stay level. So we try not to wobble back and forth. Now from the side view, notice I'm not jogging in place. My heels are not coming towards my butt. My legs are lifting in front. Neutral spine, so we're not pelvic tilting or arching. We're keeping that neutral pelvic bone, neutral spine. Heart rate's getting high. Don't forget to breathe. Working outside our comfort zone, but making changes if you need to throughout the interval. If you need more, go faster, go bigger, or add that in impact. If you need less, make your range of motion smaller, take the impact away. Great job. Upper body, we are doing push-ups. You can do push-ups against the wall or you can do them on the floor. Arms shoulder width apart, a little wider than shoulder width apart. You could be on your toes or on your knees. 60 seconds. That is a long time to be doing push-ups. So make sure you're focusing on form. This is a strength challenge with our chest, the moving muscle group, reaching through the crown of your head. Neck is long, shoulders are low and relaxed. On your toes, make sure you're working. You're not letting your hips sink or pop up. We want that nice straight line. A wider stance is gonna give you a little more stability. 60 seconds. You might do five push-ups. You might do 25 push-ups. Listen to your body. Rib cage pull down. Belly is sucking up towards your spine. Great job, sink the back. We've got 15 seconds to carefully transition into squats. Heaviest weight you can do in good form. Bend your knees, lift with your legs. Big shoulder roll, if you're holding the weight at your side, make sure it's not hunching you forward. Feet are hip to shoulder width apart. Toes are angled slightly out. Weight is in your heels. Keep your knees tracking on the exact same angle as your toes. What that means is you don't want your knees buckling in. You also don't want your knees bowing out. Fight for that good alignment. We're reaching our hips back, like we're trying to sit in a chair that's just a little too far away. If your arms are at your side, don't let them round your back or hunch your shoulders. They just hang at your side. Think about your legs lifting the weight. Your arms are simply holding the weight. And your chin stays level. We don't want to look down, but we also don't want to pinch our neck and keep looking straight forward as we squat. Strength challenge for the legs. Fast enough is a challenge. Not so fast we use momentum or compromise our form. Heart rate's still high from that cardio, so make sure you breathe. Combo time. I am gonna use dumbbells. I'm gonna use them as a handle for my push-ups. I am also going to use them for resistance as I stand in my squat. So you come down to the floor, step or jump to your plank on your toes or on your knees. You can hold your plank or do a push-up. So down, step or hop, holding plank or a push-up. Standing, it's so important to lead with your head. We don't want to strain our spine. You can jump or step to your plank. You can hold plank or do a push-up. 
And your push-up can be on your toes or on your knees. Good form. Strong core. Breathing. Keep it up. Final strength move before we do our final minute of core. We got this. Great job, 15 seconds crunches. If you would like to stay upright, you can do hand to toe crunches standing. If you can come to the floor, we're gonna do a version of a single leg stretch. Legs up, lift to a hover, lower your leg, reaching towards your opposite calf. Start small, see what your body needs. Lowering as close as you can to the floor, without touching and without arching. Belly is sucking in towards your spine, breathing through the challenge. Keep it up. Our last minute. Holding the hover in the middle, that's so important. We don't want our body to rest. We wanna keep that isometric hover and then contract with the single leg stretch. Almost there, breathing. 